Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for part 8 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Island Paradise. And let me just go ahead and add, it is hotter than two nuts in a rug in my house right now. Just in the area in general. It's really, 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 really hot. I've got like a fat headache from the heat and not to mention my fans going. So if you hear any sort of like fan sound in the background, it's probably my computer or my actual fan trying to cool me off so anyways just throwing that out there um Chandler here he's actually gonna go over to our resort that we named Carlos's Castaway Resort surprisingly Carlos is uh made two hundred and three dollars so of course we will go ahead and um we will collect those profits and our man is off uh I don't know what we're gonna do there. We're gonna take a look at the place since I don't think he really ever got the chance to. We're gonna go and see what mess we are dealing with um, and how we can fix it. Strangely, it's hailing right now. Um, it's about 69 degrees, so maybe this is, you know, the calm before the storm sort of thing. Um, and I believe Carlos's is, is right over there, so Chandler should be here in just a uh, split second. This really does look like a typical hole in the wall. Um, all right, let's just go ahead and uh, pause this for a split second here and take a take a drop down. So I'm guessing this is our our reception area. There's not a lot going on. We have a fishbowl with no fish. We have a pretty uh, pretty attractive looking um what is she a, a secretary sort of thing. Um but you can just tell like this place is completely outdated everything looks kind of run down there's a bathtub in the middle of nowhere there's one bench to relax and seriously people are leaving the garbage all over our sandy beaches there's a lot to be done and honestly the only thing that looks good is this little bungalow over here if we go up a little i think we have um our area where you eat and if if what the heck Oh my goodness, and it's green. Like, how amazing is this place? Seriously. And it looks like Ray is here, which is super embarrassing to say, hey, yeah, Ray, right, guess what? We own this resort. Welcome. Welcome to Carlos's. Like, no thank you. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and actually, uh, we're going to say hi to her. We're not going to even boast about being the resort owner because, like, truthfully, that's an embarrassment. But we are going to be friendly and we're going to congratulate her on graduating, but mostly we're going to just make sure that, um, that uh, we, we focus on Carlos's uh, a little bit. So we're going to ask her about her resort stay just to get a little feedback from her. And also if we click the front desk, we can um, view our resort reviews. So currently we are a two-star resort and um, we got a lot of reviews. Uh, it says a pool bar would be would be really nice to spice this place up. The reviews don't lie. This is the cleanest resort I've ever stayed in. Um, there's a pile of garbage on our beach. What? I swear I saw mermaids swimming out in the ocean from my guest room. Oh, well, we like that. So that's like a two and a half star. That's the oldest. The most recent is a recent trip will only happen if this place adds. Oh, a return trip will only happen if this place adds a food stand. I was happy at the buffet, but my nephew didn't find anything he wanted to eat. A firewalk or a firewalk pit would be a nice unique activity for this resort so we have thirty eight hundred dollars um some cheap fixes would obviously be adding in a couple more buffet tables and getting rid of this disgusting um mess over here or this muck more or less i do need to see if uh we um have people that uh, actually clean up the the uh the beaches or this place here so let's just do um, resort management, manage maintenance crew. Right now we have low quality upkeep. First and foremost, we definitely, I mean, I, I'm willing to boost. Actually, maybe not. We'll do medium. Because if I go too big, then we're going to have to literally go home because we won't have any anything to look forward to because the place will be shut down. So, uh, we'll do that. And let's go over here and see if we can set the food quality to medium. And it looks a little more appetizing. And I guess we can go ahead and slap in another another buffet. So if I just go into buy mode real quick, um, it should bring us right there, which is really cool. So silly me, I wasn't recording. But what I did is added um, a dessert section, a lunch section, bumped up the quality to uh, medium 
quality, I suppose. Now I am thinking about adding a couple more seating arrangements, but then again, we don't really have a lot of guests. This is just bothering me. So I'm going to actually put this right here. Um, and I don't even know really what the purpose of this is quite yet, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to fuss too much. Um, let's see. I don't know what else we could add in here. We probably should actually put a legitimate goldfish in here. I'm going to go ahead and go actually in live mode and, uh, see what else I can do. I do believe if maybe I delete some of these shrubs, I'll get, um, a little, a little extra cash here and probably clean up this garbage. Let's go have Chandler go ahead and do that. Um, and I don't know what the reasoning for having a bathtub here is, but let's actually, you know what, let's do a couple more modifications to this house. I mean, um, this lot or whatever while we're here, we will delete. Are you serious? Like, talk about hidden treasures. We'll delete the tub. Oh, we'll get rid of these shrubs. I mean, this just speaks, like, disgusting. Like, I would not stay at a place like this, and I'm surprised we have as many guests <laughs> as we do. Like, let's be real here, you know? Um, I'm not really sure why there's a garbage can here, nor a, a, a sack of hay. Um, there's a lot of, like, just you know, garbagios just laying around that you can get a lot of money for. And I recommend doing it like now before you um, really play this lot because then it just loses its value. I'm pretty sure that tub was worth a lot more than it was. But see, we're already like cleaning up this place a ton, which I love. Um, so I think what I should do to save some time on the clock so we can play, do more gameplay, I'm going to just do a couple new little mods to this lot. And then when I am finished, I will show you guys the upgrades. Okay, so like many things in life, it all can't be built in one day. So I just did a lot of cheap, easy upgrades. Threw out a lot of the garbage we just did not need. And I tried to make everything look a little less, I don't know, run down. So the next thing I was kind of sort of contemplating, oh, I forgot to fix this little table here, Um, is we should just throw in a pool area. I think that would really make quite the difference. I'm actually going to hopefully have this chick move out of the damn way. Um, and we are going to go back into build mode once more. A lot of um, modifications today. And we're going to go check out some of the new blueprints because I'm thinking a nice little pool section right here would really help Carlos's, you know, boost their stars or whatever, you know, get better ratings. So we're going to go into the pool area and there's a lot of different choices. Um, the ones that aren't blurred out are the ones that we can afford. Uh, we can actually do something really, really inexpensive, cheap for now if we wanted to. Um, or we can go ahead and actually throw in something a with, that's a little more money, um, but it'll probably look great. Uh, there's a bar and also a slide in here, and it looks like it's a pretty decent size. So I'm actually going to place this, I think, here. And then I'm going to move these sims out of the way because they're kind of like all up in my grill and I'm trying to, you know, place some stuffs. Uh, I'm going to move this over just in case we use it. And let's do, let's move this flamingo. And we're going to preview the blueprints. And if I like it, we shall uh, keep it. So it kind of looks pretty crowded. Um, you know, I think I'll maybe move it over a little bit. But I do, I do like it. I do think it looks pretty good. Um, maybe we'll just kind of flop it around here and see if that looks a little bit better and we'll put it right there because I also still want to leave a lot of the beach untouched so people can um, lay out and stuff like that because that's kind of cool and I, I like this so we'll go ahead and accept that um, and uh, let's see how much is this worth and how much is this worth all right well so we'll sell this lounger and we will go ahead and just kind of like lay this one out here of course, I'm going to do more modifications later on, make it look a little more put together. But for now, you know, this is this is pretty good. Um, and we don't have a lot of money left, but we'll have to hire uh, someone to run the pool. So for now, this is what uh, Carlos is going to look like. Um, Chandler just received his stipend for, I think it was $400 from his career. So that kind of helped out a lot. So we're just gonna go ahead and play on in. I think a bartender should come in quite shortly. This pool is really, really small, but hopefully it will help out things a little bit. And something broke in our damn freaking resort. I don't know, but a lot of people are either reading or laying out on the beach. There's more garbage. So let's have uh, Carlos go ahead and uh, he'll clean that. And I'm going to go check up on Simone for a little bit. She's actually watching some TV. We're going to go and um, do a little more snorkeling because I think today is her last day off. And that's just something she kind of loves. So 
I think we can go back over to the Rocky Reef, or maybe we have enough skill points to explore other places. Nope. All right, so we are going to um, visit the dive spot. And her needs are pretty good. She she's, needs to take a shower here soon, otherwise she'll start stinking up a funk. But I think it's pretty okay. I'm just so confused why it's healing. You know what I mean? Like, this is this is kind of strange. But uh, I don't know. So she should be there quite shortly. And we're going to take the, the taxi cab. Looks like Simone wants to upgrade the, um, or upgrade a resort tower. She also wants to kiss Joel and collect some festival tickets. I think we'll swap these out here. Um, and uh, she also wants to become better friends with Joel. Not to mention today is Leisure Day. So what way to celebrate that, or what a perfect way to celebrate that, rather than to go on some scuba diving adventures. And Carlos, or jeez, I just totally called her Carlos. Chandler also should relax a little bit and do the same. But he's just going to manage... Just manage um, Carlos's for a little bit. And she's in her clothes. And so is this random, random ass lady. <laughs> All right. So examine shark. No freaking way. What are you doing? Are you crazy? <gasps> no, 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 no. Please leave her alone. Please leave her. Oh, my gosh. You guys look at this. Oh, my God. Dude, do you see this thing? <gasps> Holy crap. It is monstrous. He's an ugly mofo. I'll just say. He's an ugly guy. Swearing up a storm, girl. I don't know. I never swear, but literally, he's, he is not a cutie patootie. But, all right. Are we, oh, no, no, Simone. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Shark attack. No, 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 no. Is she okay? Is she okay? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. That sucks. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it says, mauled by a shark. You did a dance with the shark, and the, sh the shark stepped on your toes and your face. Oh my gosh. See, that's what I get for calling him ugly. Well, she's okay though, right? Oh God, at least she didn't die. That's horrible. That's scary, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if I like that. I, I wish they could have did without the sharks, but uh... Wow, okay, I'm kind of like clueless as to what to say next, but she's gonna, she's gonna do some scuba diving. Is this, who's this guy? Dude, I would leave if I were you. The shark's in the area, just saying. Gosh, talk about Jaws. He was kind of crazy. Uh, here's a jellyfish. Let's go ahead and catch him. Since we have to catch four more fish anyway. Um, oh, look at the little blowfish. I wonder if we could put him in our aquarium. Back off, bro. He's my goldfish. Or blowfish. <laughs> um, oh, it's a girl. Is it a girl? I can't tell. All right, what else can we see in here? I want to I wanna explore far, farther away. Um... I think this is as far as we can go. It's not a lot to do, but maybe we'll improve our, our snorkeling skills so we can actually explore more things here. Um, looks like we caught the um, blowfish. And so we do, we need to catch, let's just catch two more. Um, okay, here's another red herring. And look, oh my gosh, is there a boat? Can you see? Can you see on the water? I don't think you can. I was gonna say, that would be really cool. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and grab that red herring real quick. And I think, let's see, is she just chasing him or something? Let's see if we can grab him. Okay, so we got him, and we just need to grab one more to fulfill that want. And we are just about done, um, whatchamacallit, done with that last level here. Can we greet her? Can we greet her underwater? Okay, let's greet her and see what happens. I seriously cannot believe we got mauled by a freaking shark. That's crazy. I'm glad she didn't die, though. Like, seriously? Like, the ocean and this family do not mix because everything and anything bad that can happen usually does. And Chandler got promoted. Oh, cool. So now he has a more honorable name, and he is now a beach protector. Uh, and it's pretty sweet. So now he makes five twenty a week, and I don't think anything else has really changed. So are, are they greeting each other right now? Let's see. Oh, yeah, they're totally going to greet each other under the water. Aw. That's so cool. Can we, what else can we do? Oh, we can totally, like, have a conversation under here. We're going to talk about some fish with her. This is awesome. It's like a little little paradise. I hope you can't get eaten by sharks down here, but I cannot believe that that happened to her. All right, let's just grab one more and get the heck out of here because I'm a little wary now that I saw that. Oh, what do you see? Because whatever it is, I'm going to take it. Um, is this a seashell? Is this? Oh my gosh. No, I can't see anything. Um, 
I just need one more fish. Oh, here's one. All right, let's go ahead and catch this one. I don't even know what this is. This looks like a clownfish. He's cute. All right, so let's stop talking to this hooker. And let's go catch this clownfish and be on our way. Because uh, she also wants to swim in the ocean. So maybe her and uh, her broski, Joel, can go hit the beach together. I don't know. Um, yeah, let's, let's do that. Okay, so now we're done. Let's swap these out. We're going to go ahead and return to the surface. Um, and I think we're going to go to this beach here. And we'll play in the sand for a minute. And, um, can we boat here? Let's boat here. All right, boat here. And then we'll handle that when she gets there. Um, all right. So, oh, look at this. Who is this chick? Is this Florita? What is she doing at a resort? <gasps> oh, I've heard. Oh, I was going to say. Oh, ho, ho, hello. Your husband is cheating on you, Missy. All right, so our, our place is kind of cracking. We got a lot going on. We got this guy wearing a jockey hat. Don't understand why that's happening much. But um, I wonder if we can go ahead and uh, stock, stock the fish bowl. But if we can just put any fish in here, that'd be kind of cool. All right, we're going to go ahead and put a blowfish in here. Yeah, sure. We'll call it Tragic Clownfish. Oh, it's a clownfish. We'll call it Rachel, and we'll feed Rachel. Rachel will be our little, our little mascot. Um... I really don't know what I should have him do. He's really hungry, so I guess we can have him eat some of the food here. You know, I don't know how much he's going to like it. Oh, he's already on it. He's actually grabbing some stew surprise. <laughs> hmm, that sounds appetizing. So we got to swap this out for some dinner, too, as well. So I think they should do this automatically, but damn, that looks like a good feast. That looks really good. So after he's done with that, I think we should have him... I don't know what we should have him do. Where the hell are you going? No, I didn't. Did I ask her to feed Rachel? Seriously? Oh, I want her to go. Is there any other beaches? All right, let's go here. All right, we'll go there instead. And uh, he's going to go hit the gym again for a little bit. Or we can go. We can go. Actually, no, no, we need to go to the gym. All right, so let's have him. Seriously? <laughs> oh my gosh, he's like a little gavoon. He keeps eating. I guess it is on all you can eat buffet, but sweetie, you are what you eat. Jesus, this thing will be, it'll be like having love handles for days. I don't even know, but uh, I want to I want to kind of confront Florita about this pregnancy. But again, Chandler's just not that kind of guy, and they're not like anything serious anyway. So he's gonna focus mostly on what he needs to do. Forget the ladies. Um, but I think we're at Bella Beach. We won't have a lot of time to spend with our guy, but if we can sneak a kiss in and, you know, kind of, I don't know, fulfill some of these wants, that would be really awesome. So let's invite him over really quick. And um, she's just hating life. Like, that is really dramatic, this icon. His, like, head's ripped off. <laughs> but surprisingly, she doesn't show any signs whatsoever of being mauled. So I guess that's cool. Uh, let's have her go swim in the ocean really quick and while we're waiting for Joel. And I... Th oh, yep. I told you. I totally called it. Um, it's the calm before the storm. It is freaking... Oh, my gosh, you guys. <gasps> Look how pretty. Oh, man. This place is gorgeous. So beautiful. All right. Let her go ahead and do that for a minute. I think he's just about to hit the, hit the gym. Wow, what a day. But at least we got our, you know, our kind of resort up and running sort of thing. And we'll start being, uh, start making some actual cash with that because we're a little low again. I do think uh, Chandler here goes to work tomorrow. So that would be um, kind of cool. And let's see, who is this? Who is this girl? She's different. Um, let's do charming introduction. I don't know why I, I want Chandler to like be with someone so bad i just i'm, I'm guessing i'm used to that kind of romance in my games but um <sighs> excuse me but uh yeah we'll see um see they're attracted to each other uh what is your sign it looks like you and i were meant to be um yeah cool so they're actually they're actually pretty good friends uh but i, I like i like ray the most Let's ask about her career and her alma mater. We'll just, you know, keep it keep it easy, be friends, and we're gonna work out a little bit. We need to definitely improve our athletic skill. Um, speaking of which, we are flying through the the careers. I feel like he's already halfway done with the lifeguard career. He's doing really good. 
Um, Joel's here, and he's gonna go, or she's gonna go ahead and actually get to know him while they're standing in the agua. Uh, I'm gonna go and be a little romantic with him, compliment his appearance. And somebody said Joel was ugly. <laughs> you know, I mean, I've seen worse. Like, let's be real. He's not the cutest thing to hit the streets, but I, I don't think he's ugly. And you know what? Sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, looks aren't everything. They really aren't. But yes, let's see. Uh, can we compliment his personality? He wants to keep it so cash, and all I want to do is kiss you, boo. Um, you know what? We're going to do the heat of the moment kiss. I mean, you know, just just why not? Right in the rain. How romantic. Like, right now. You're kissing his chest. Girl, you missed. See, he's pissed. Because he missed. You're kissing his nipples. <laughs> he's like, how could you? That's so creepy. Um, I am sorry. I must apologize. I, I, I think it's something in the water. I did just get mauled by a shark, so my, my pots and pieces aren't all there. All right. Whoopsie daisy. But and then it didn't even. All right, whatever. Gosh, girl, what else can we do? We'll do Shakabra. We always do Shakabra. Let's talk about a family. Um, we're gonna go ahead and cry on his shoulder because honestly, that was pretty depressing. That was that was a scary moment in time. Um, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna queue up a whole bunch of interactions, rock paper scissors. I mean, like things that you probably would never randomly do with someone you don't know, but we'll do it anyway. Well, let's see. Uh, we'll cry on his shoulder one more time. And, I don't know, I'm just trying to be friends with him. I wish there was something we knew. Uh, I mean, I wish there was something we knew about Joel, but we don't know anything. Um, really, except that he likes groceries. Like, ooh, excuse me, I just burped. <laughs> I, I am such a pig. I'm sorry, I don't think I've ever done that before, but, like, came out while I was talking, so, you know. Have you ever done that? Like, you know you got a burp, but, girl, you try to hold it in, the deal life, and then you embarrass yourself like I did? Thank God I'm not alone. Anyways. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to be friends with Joel today or any of this, but, uh, we'll, we'll complete these interactions and, uh, we'll, we'll, are we on a date? And we'll say goodbye. I mean, if it's a sucky date, it's a sucky date. What am I going to do about it? You know what I mean? Um, and I think, look at him go. Look at his little, look at little, little strut. You got it, boy. Ooh, you, oh, you work it. Work those glutes. You go. He's doing great. I'm really proud of him. I like focusing a lot on the skills. I mean, look at how much he knows already. Um, he's really, uh, he's impressing me. So he needs to use the bathroom. I don't want him to pull a con. We can't go there. Uh, he's probably the only sim I have had that doesn't piss himself every 45 seconds. Like, seriously, the only sim I've ever had. Um, so, yeah, let's let's have him use the restroom and we'll, we'll take a little shower. He's a little hungry, but not too shabby. And, um, are we home already? Because that was, that was quick. Is Joel here? No. I wonder what he thought about our date. He probably hated it. Yeah, I knew it. It's difficult to imagine any way, or in any way, uh, which the date could have gone, possibly have gone worse, whatever. I totally butchered that. She's sad. Like, her life freaking sucks. Seriously, she, she, she got rejected for her first kiss. She's disgusted. She stinks. She had the worst date ever. She got mauled by a shark. I mean, can we can we add any more to this? Um, probably not. But you know what? Think of it this way. She's alive. You know what I mean? So um, we'll let her do what she's got to do and then kind of get ready for ready for bad. I, I feel really bad for this girl, but you know what it is. It, 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 she'll be all right. Um, I think Chandler is just about on his way home, and we're going to go, me and you, we're going to go check up on the, uh, the old... Uh, Shakaru, I guess. Carlos is cast away. And, um, I think we can set his, his uniform because, like, seriously, this looks a little ridiculous. And there's more garbage on the damn beach. But let's go and, um, we can create a custom uniform. I don't want to do that. Uh, I, <laughs> let's do standard standard hotel uniform. That'd be cool. Alright. And you need to go home, sir. And let's watch him get out and uh, put on his new uniform. Hopefully he isn't wearing that ridiculous hat, but we'll see. What's his name anyway? Devon. Okay, Devon. Let's see what you got going on. He's still wearing that hat. Like, seriously, what the hell? Oh, wait, whatever. You know what? I will just, I will just accept the fact that you're a little different. 
There's nothing wrong with being different. But uh, anyway, I'm going to have uh, our man go back to his house. If he's running there, he's like seriously crazy. Oh, he's almost there anyway. Um, and then I will have him go to sleep because he actually has to start work, I do believe, in 10 hours. And we are almost, seriously, almost about to get another promotion. How exciting. I know I'm excited and you should be too. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up part eight, I believe, right here. Chandler's not going to do anything too special but other than undress and uh, go to sleep. And, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you all in part nine of the uh, Sims University life. Or, whoa, girl, Island Paradise. There we go. <laughs> Bye.